One thing about the Bass Doctors, we're always trying to find something different to do. We got you something different today. Fishing out of Lucky Tackle Box with the BD Series baits, but boy, what about a little competition? You know, the Lucky Tackle Box is one of the coolest things anyway, because you yeah. don't know exactly what you have. We don't know yet what we have, but I understand there's some BD Series bait, so I know I'm going to like it. Yes. Tyler and I are on a team. You two guys, we're going to have a little competition. Exactly. Only can use the stuff out of the Lucky Tackle Box, which is what makes it so cool. Yeah. We did a little flip off this morning. Andrew's stuck with me. Tyler's got the hometown guy Boyd, so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not real sure about this hometown advantage just yet, but we're going to go fish and see if we can make it happen. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's All do right, it. I'm down. All right, partner. Good deal. Let's get it done. Look at the head on her. Love it. Back and choked it all the way down. Let's catch another one. The Bass Doctor is sponsored by Castaic, the original swimbait company, Reaction Strike, number one in swimbait, American Tackle Company, makers of the microwave guide system, Monster Bass, Lucky Tackle Box, Ego Nets, Power Pole Shallow Water Anchors, Bulldog Rods, Tough as a Dog, That Ain't No Bull, Fish Hard, Stormer, Ducket Fishing, Lit Coolers, TH Marine, Garmin, and by Katana Hooks. All right, Jason, so it's, it's windy, it's cloudy, it's a little cold, as you can see, we're kind of bundled up. What's, what's the game plan? You've been here a lot, I haven't really been here. What's, what's your thoughts? Well, Gunnersville is uh, just another TVA lake. Got a lot of hydrilla in it. So that's what we're going to try to find this morning is some hydrilla edges, hard lines. It's fish ought to be moving into them, but as you can tell, we've got a little wind to deal with. Yep. So right now, we're just going to try to find somewhere where we can fish and, and try to find some of that grass. But, Hey, we gotta go beat these guys. Let's do it, I'm excited. All right, man, let's roll. You know, Tyler, this is cool doing this Lucky Tackle Box thing, but make no mistake, dude, I'm a tournament angler. Oh, no Jason doubt. Lambert is a great tournament angler, yep. okay? So, I know we're out here to have fun, but I just wanna tell you out of the gate, I wanna win this thing, because oh. I wanna win everything oh. I get in, okay? Well, I do too, you know, Andrew and I are great friends. When I come from the water, I wanna beat him yeah. real bad, so I think it's, it's gonna be a good day. You know, it's all about winning, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Let's do it. Lucky Tackle Box is a monthly fishing subscription box that introduces anglers of all skill levels to new baits and fishing tackle every month. They send out five to six items, a magazine, and email links to videos with tips and techniques for each product so you can catch more fish and become a better angler. Love the, the concept of the Lucky Tackle Box and getting these baits. Fortunately, when I opened mine, uh, I had two baits. I'm pretty sure I can catch them on one or the other. Uh, BD 3.5 square bill if they're running the grass lines and if they're a little bit slow because we had a, a, a front We've had some funky weather just the last several days got a jerk bait in there Which is my go-to deal when the fish won't bite, you know this BD 1 115 jerk bait Anytime in the fall you got shad, you know these fish are kin on shad jerk baits always an option and the 3.5 square bill You know it's grass fishery square bill. I think we can make this work Andrew two of the baits Yep. BD 3.5 and a BD 115. Yep. Supposed to work. It's supposed to. Let's see. So uh, tell me, Jason, about Gunnersville. Like, what you know about it? I mean, I'm from Nebraska, so I don't, I don't have big reservoirs and big lakes like this. So what's, what's the key thing to be doing in the fall time like this? You know, Tennessee River in the fall is, is a lot like y'all's, your guys' lakes out there. I mean, it's a shad-based forage. And in the fall, I mean, these shad migrate. And, you know, they get shallow, they get on these grass lines. Of course, you know, Gunnersville, one of the, the things that everybody knows about Gunnersville is it's full of grass. It's full of millful, full of hydrilla, eel grass. So, you know, a lot of the lakes, the fish just mig the shad migrate into the pockets. Well, here, they're just running these grass lines. And, the, you know, you can fish miles and miles and miles of it and not get a bite, and then all of a sudden you'll catch 10 off of one 10 yard stretch. So they're, they're still schooling, they're still getting together, but they're just following the shad, just like any other lake in the fall. You know what we got, Tyler? It's fall of the year, it's a little early. Actually, it's not early by date, it's yeah. early by weather. You know, it's been so warm this year, but the these fish will migrate back into these grass drains. You know, in Gunnersville. We just have tons and tons of grass. Yep. And the little ditches and, and deep areas where they'll make a drain, 
Was, that's where the bait ends up as okay. soon as the water cools off. So that's what I'm trying to target. Neither one, Jason or myself, really got any practice time. So we're kind of out here trying to figure oh, this yeah. out on our own. It's uh, been the holiday season and nobody's been fishing. Yep. That makes it even more cool. There he is. You got one? Yeah. All right. I'm going to cast right back where you were. Right in the same place. He just, uh, isn't that funny? It took a, oh, that's took, a good one. It took that jerk bait to catch him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got that. Hang on, Tyler. I'm going to come in right there. Can I there. him in here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Good first fish, boy. Oh, got me in the head. Starter. That is awesome. Starter. Wow. So we knew they here, had to switch up the presentation yep, to Yep, had to change the presentation to this jerkbait, which is a little bit slower uh -huh. and a little more deliberate in their face. Yeah. I paused it for a long time. Good chunky fish. That's a ch that is a very you chunky fish. I paused fish. it. That fish hit it during the pause. Uh -huh. It was just sitting there, and I saw the line start moving. Okay. I was like, oh, That's when is. you know. Yep. Good just, deal. Put that bad boy in the live well. Looks like I'm going to be going back to the jerkbait. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. Fishing. <laughs> Okay, Jason Lambert, you better tighten up, buddy. Can't let Jason know about this jerkbait thing. Yeah. Well, he's got one in his tackle box, too. Okay, that's true. So, Hopefully he doesn't choose we, to throw it. That's right. <laughs> Castaic, the company that invented the swim bait lure category, introduces the most lifelike series of fishing lures on the market today with Jointed. Paddle tail and straight body designs, Castaic has it all. Castaic lures will entice the most stubborn fish to bite. Available in an array of sizes, shapes, and a multitude of colors, Castaic has the perfect lifelike lure for the job. So if you're ready to get your hands wet, pick up a Castaic lure today. Bulldog rods feature a series of 12 rods designed by the best of the best in the industry. All the tools a serious bass fisherman would ever need. Whether you're a touring pro or a weekend warrior, these rods are for you. Each blank features Japanese Torrey carbon fiber and gives these rods incredible feel, lightness, and power. With a no questions asked warranty, unmatched look, durability, and sensitivity that has to be felt to be believed, they are priced to sell, built to last. Bulldog rods, tough as a dog, that's no bull. Captioning sponsored by Monster Bass. Uh oh. There's a fish. There's a fish. We found one. He's barely hooked. There's about three with him, too. A bunch with him? Yeah. There you go. You know, uh, stuff with him. Go back. We're not deep enough to hold down. But, yeah, we come in this drain, and sure enough, we found one. And he had four or five with him. A little BD, Elegy Bone jerkbait. Got him going. Now this BD-115 jerkbait, it's, it's an awesome bait in general, but in the fall of the year, it's really an awesome bait. You know, these bass are, are coming up to feed on shad. They're getting ready for winter. So a jerkbait is a shad imitator. So you can fish it on grass edges, you can fish it on points, you can fish it on banks. I mean, there's so many different applications you can throw a jerkbait at. Got one? Oh yeah, oh, that's big one. I couldn't tell how big he was. He's, I mean, he's splashed like he's a good size one. Yeah, that's yeah, a good one. There you go. Well, funny. Find that one stretch. And you yeah, you're just set, you're just talking about that. You find one, you find a whole bunch of them. That's a little bit better fish, oh, yeah. huh? That's three pounder. And popped right off. If I don't let him flop back in the lake, <laughs> <laughs> may, have, may have found us something. 
There you go. That's a three pounder, probably. Fish, uh, piece of line off the boat, I guess. We'll throw him in the box. Now we're starting to figure something out, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, that's good. Andrew, all of us guys growing up over here in Tennessee River and Alabama, Tennessee, we all know how we got started fishing, just living on the river, but coming from Nebraska, I mean, Nebraska's not necessarily a, a fishing destination across the country. How, how'd you get started fishing? Yeah, there's not really any any lakes where I live. I mean, they're all just like 100, 200 acre lakes. So I, I basically started pond fishing and then got into tournaments in high school, which kind of forced me to travel to like bigger reservoirs like this, to where I would just basically travel anytime that I wanted to fish any any of those big reservoirs and watched a lot of videos and uh, read a lot of magazines in order to kind of like learn learn the ropes when I'm not able to actually fish on the big bodies of water. You're talking about watching videos, but one thing a lot of guys know you for is making videos. Yep. So how, how'd you get rolling with all the YouTube stuff? And I mean, how many followers you got now? Uh, two, a little over 200,000. That's crazy, man. How'd you get started in that? Yeah, so I started making YouTube videos uh, back in 2012 when I was 15 years old. And I mainly just kind of started doing pond fishing videos and stuff like that. Did a little bit of how-tos. And I have over 550 videos now. So I've kind of had experience and just kind of self-taught my way on making, making videos and stuff like that. And it's just a lot of fun. For, for a lot of folks our generation, YouTube's been not as important. But it is a huge, huge deal. I mean, Andrew's got 200,000 followers on YouTube. You know, these guys are actually bringing another generation into the fishing industry. I mean, you know, we're all going to be out of this one of these days, and these guys are bringing, you know, new competition. They're bringing in folks that are going to carry on our tradition of bass fishing. I think that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a different avenue than we had coming up. But nowadays with these kids and Tyler and, and Andrew and, and a lot of other guys that work with Lucky Tackle Box, there's so many hundreds of thousands of people that follow these guys that keep up with, with the tournaments, with the industry, with tackle, with everything. I think it's just a neat idea. It's a neat way of bringing new people into our industry. Hit it again? Yep. There you go. Oh, there's a big one. Big one. There's a big one. The size we need right there. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Getting him in might be the fun part. No nets. Treble hooks everywhere. Come here. Come here. Come here. I've got one. Got him? Yep. Good. We got doubles. I got mine. You got doubles. Another decent fish. Yep. Good keeper. You He's know, running. somebody made a comment while ago. If you find them, you find them. I think you got him buttoned up pretty good. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> doubles. Slow, slow, slow. And then catch doubles. There you go. Took, took a little while, huh? BD jerkbait comes to life. That's a four pounder better. That is, that's a good yeah. one. Look at there. There you go, doubles. Boyd, Tyler, y'all better be catching them. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Cause th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You got it dialed in that these fish are wanting that small XRM. Stud right there. Shallow running jerkbait called an XRM 100. It's a reaction strike jerkbait. Hey, that's a nice fish for sure. Nice fish. We got a double point. Alright, well, I'd say we got around them. Two chunky fish. We got around them. Yeah, we did. Little one. Yeah, little one. Yeah. Gee. Those are no problem to catch. Yep. 
Yeah, there's an abundance of these ideas. That that's what you need right there. Yeah, that's the one you don't want to let hurt you. These are the ones we're keen in on right here. <laughs> we found them now, boys. That's, we have a million of these. Gunnersville's going to be the place to be in two years. <laughs> that's that's her. That's her. Digging? Yep, yep. Right. Good. That's what I'm talking that about. That feels a little bit better. There's one. You got one too? Mm-hmm. She a keeper? Mm, be close. Because I think mine will. Keeper? Get on in there! Yes! Yeah. That one will be close as well. <laughs> ah. Yep. Man, another face full of troubles. Beautiful. Beautiful Gunnersville bass. Nice, on, thick, baby. healthy. They've been eating a lot. Come on, baby. Cool. Mine won't go. That one's a little bit skinnier, so. Yeah. Let's Looks check like it it'll out. go, though, huh? I hope so. Isn't that funny that the better fish, you got, you got oh, like yeah. one shot at them, goes? That's 15 inches. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Like Gunnersville, early fall. Cool beans. Fish. That's fish, that's fish. Get him. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's a big one. Bacon. It's a big Bacon, 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 bacon. You want to grab him? Yeah. Bear hoodie. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Uh-oh, here we go, boy. Look at that. That's choking, choking it. I'll show you. That's right. how you want them to eat the jerk bait, right there. I told you we weren't done. That's what we need. Heck yeah. Dude, oh, oh, that feels so good. Man, it's gonna feel good if we beat Boyd on his home lake. And plus, you get to talk with Tyler all the time. So oh yeah. Rub it in oh yeah. He's there. never gonna. He's never gonna hear the end of that. <laughs> Heck yeah. I think I gotta do one. I Big one. Right. Heck yeah. I see the. I, I see the, the, the. It's shaking its face. It is shaking its face. Whew. I cast right back to that first school we found. Man, that is sweet. Sweet, dude. Where are you going? Oh, let I him hope stand. it's a big one. Let him, it is a big one. What do you mean, is it a big one? <laughs> I can see you pulling on him. Oh, he's coming at me. It's all right, it's all oh. right. Oh, oh, he's might, bigger. He might cool Get something. Get out of here. Oh, all right. He'll probably cool one. He'll cool one of them. Well, cool. We're just kind of cycling through these fish Well, they're fish strong, here. aren't they? They are very strong. <laughs> they are very strong. And they're getting a face full of treble hooks. I love it. This beady, uh, beady jerk bait's pretty good. Oh, there's one. Is he big? Keep. I think he'll keep for sure. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think so, too. Jerk yeah. Hang on there. One little bait. One little. Oh, no. He's got one hook in him. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's just got one hook in him. Get a little life out of him before. Yep, yep. Yeah, he's just got one oh, little no. hook in him right there. <laughs> in between him anyway. Oh, Get him. Yes, on. that is a keeper. <laughs> I like that. That's all it was. It went through okay. and back out again. Yeah, that's a good Sick, one. man. Nice number job. Four, nice job. Number four, number, four. number four. Nice little fat Gunnersville bass. Look how healthy these fish are. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. Fish? That's a fish. That's a fish. Get him. Yeah, that's a fish. No, he's not very little big. Little fella. Little fella. Not a big one. He'll help the call. It's just too, it just not happened yet. Yep. You know. And even these keepers uh -huh. weren't here, you know, two weeks ago. Yeah. You know, they're just, just now starting to move. So that's why I was thinking we'd follow them out a little more in, mm -hmm. case, in case the big ones hadn't moved in here yet. Work our way out there. It gets uh, to where it's all grass, though. It's flatter. Okay. And there's a hole. See, the channel goes underneath that, and it kind of swings back this way where you get... There's one. Oh, what are we, what are we talking? Uh, probably a keeper. He's getting better. <laughs> Is he getting bigger the more he's you look bigger. at him? Well, you know, no, just the, he started, finally started pulling. Okay. Yeah, that's a little coal action, yes, huh? Yes, oh my goodness, yeah, that's a little coal. Coal action? That looks like it. Yep. I'd say. Oh, he's got one hook in yeah, it. I got one hook under the belly. Bottom, bottom lip. Want to grab him, you want me to swing him? Uh, swing him in. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Okay, there you go. I just took the reins for you. He did. He just said, he just said, whoosh. <laughs> Dude, this is the biggest one of the day. I know. 
All right. Huh? Dude, that is awesome. That's a fat, he's been feeding up for sure. Keep from blowing in there on them. Yeah, that's a good one there. That'll help us. That's cool. Fish away, you know, 210. Oh yeah. That is a sick coal. That's a put a little pressure on Lambert. A little bit, a little bit of pressure. Introducing the Microwave Line Control System by American Tackle, the most efficient casting system on the planet. It uses the latest in line guide technology to improve accuracy and add distance to each cast. A two-stage conical design primary guide captures and controls fishing line to straighten coils, reducing friction and maintaining line speed during the cast. It's so effective that it requires less energy to deliver the smoothest, most accurate long distance casts possible. Castaic, the company that invented the swim bait lure category, introduces the most lifelike series of fishing lures on the market today. With jointed, paddle tail, and straight body designs, Castaic has it all. Castaic lures will entice the most stubborn fish to bite. Available in an array of sizes, shapes, and a multitude of colors, Castaic has the perfect lifelike lure for the job. So if you're ready to get your hands wet, pick up a Castaic lure today. All right, Andrew, we'll work this one in. We gotta go put them on the scale, but maybe we got them, man. We might. <laughs> they sounded been, a little nervous, so. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a windy day. It's been kind of hard to get around, hard to maneuver, and, but I mean, all in all, it's been a decent day, so let's make this last cast and we'll go check it out and see what them boys have brought for us to, I don't know, they may have caught them on us at the end of the day. They might, know. I don't know. Kind of <laughs> sneaky that way. We hope not, but it's been fun. Y'all stick around. Be away in here in just a minute. We'll see how this thing shakes out. Oh, that's a fish. It is? That's a fish, yeah. Big one? I can't I'd tell. It's a big one. He got me in the grass again. I think I got a, a thing full of grass here. Oh, oh it's a big that's one. A big really fish. big one. That is a really that's big fish. That's the one. Please don't get me any more grass. Yeah, that's the one. Ah, oh, I've got to play it safe. Yep, that's the one right that's there. That's the one. Chunky, I'm telling you, that's a big chunky one. Chunky Gunnersville bass right here. That's a big girl right there. That's what we need. <laughs> get out of that grass. Do not pull off. Please don't pull off. Where are you at? Just, there. Just easy. Go easy. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> oh, my. Dude, that's a giant. Is it a giant? That's the one. I yeah. sure hope it's not a carp. Yeah, that's a big one. Is it a well, bass? I guess. If it, I mean, I assume it's a bass. If it's a carp, I'm going to be disappointed. It's a, it's a drum. Oh, God. It's a foul hook giant drum. Oh. Oh, dude. It's like a nine pounder. I mean, it's the one. It's just not the right one. No. Oh. Oh, man. Well, guys. Look at this beast. Nope. Well, easy release. Easy release. I'm glad he came off after we saw him instead yes. of before he oh, saw definitely. him. Yes. Oh, definitely. I saw it under. I saw it swirl uh -huh. under water one time. I was like, "It's a giant, dude. It's a big one." Well, guys, that that happens sometimes, you know. Ah, <sighs> oh, that got me so pumped. I guess so. How many minutes we got now? <laughs> We about eight? Ten. You know, this has been real refreshing for me today to get a chance to fish with Tyler. Uh, 
It's a new generation. You know, I'm a veteran in this industry. I started tournament fishing in 1977. You know, social media, YouTube, so much of what connects young people today to everything in, in my industry connects them to fishing. None of that even existed when I was 19, 20, 22 years old, you know? So, so it's interesting for me to see the change in how people get information about bass fishing. And I think it's so cool, man, to see a sport that I grew up and I love have a way to continue. And I'm not sure there's not more involvement today with young, you know, young fishermen, boys and girls, than there was when I was young because of this reach. So, you know, these guys that take the time and energy, form a YouTube channel, go out there and show you some techniques, you know, show you what they know about bass fishing, and if nothing else, introduce you to what a great sport this is. I think that's the coolest thing ever, and I want you to know, myself, those of us at Ducket Fishing, we're in all support of that happening. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth, I tell you. It's, uh... It's been, you know, we caught it. We just couldn't ever get a big bite. It Man, like, it's never uh, got a big bite today. It's tough. It is tough. I mean, it's tough. It's hard. The wind had a lot to do with not being able to move around. I know it. But yeah. we fished the stuff hey, we wanted to fish. Yep. We brought the lucky tackle box, boys. Uh, we had a great day. Either way. Yeah, had fun. It was fun. We'll see how it goes. Let's, let's right. look away, bud. Put it on there. Let's look him up there and see. There we go. Yeah, 1641. We'll call that. It's going to be a close one. We'll see. But that big one might, it's going to take us We got, yeah. 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 1895. 1895. 1895. 1895. Oh, God. <laughs> we, we took it, man. We took it. What about that? We took it. Nebraska boy. That was a great job. But I tell you what, man, how cool is it to fish this, to fish the out of the Lucky Tackle Box? Man, I love it. I mean, just, you know, you just got a bait or two you take to fish it, with. Take the box. Yeah. Go fishing. Catch fish. Catch 18 and a half pounds, 19 pounds. There you go. These are some big fish, y'all. Yeah. That was, you gotta take a good And that's with a little spot, too. Yeah, so that's a little baby in there, too. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We're good. Good job, y'all. Awesome. Enjoyed it, fellas. Sweet. Thanks for inviting us out. The Bass Doctor is sponsored by Castaic, the original swim bait company. Reaction Strike, number one in swim baits. American Tackle Company, makers of the microwave guide system. Monster Bass. Lucky Tackle Box. Ego Nets. Power pole, shallow water anchors, bulldog rods, tough as a dog, that ain't no bull. Fish hard, stormer. Ducket fishing, lit coolers, TH Marine, Garmin, and by Katana Hooks.